Hi, and welcome at WordPressNinja.com. My name is Nico, and today I'm going to show you how to translate your blog or website with QTranslate plugin. This video contains four parts. Part 1. Configuration of the QTranslate plugin. Part 2. Enabling the QTranslate widget so your visitors can choose their preferred language. Part 3. How to add content in different languages. Part 4. How to select the language of the WordPress dashboard. After you install the QTranslate plugin, it's time to configure QTranslate. To do this, go to Settings in the left menu and choose Languages. On this screen, the Language Management, you can configure QTranslate. On top of the screen, you see the general settings. The first option is default language order. Here you can choose which language is the default language and which is the order of the languages. Out of the box, German, English and Chinese are installed. To change the default language, just select another language. To change the order of the languages, just click on the arrow next to the languages. I'll show you later how you can change these languages. The second option is hide untranslated content. When checked, posts will be hidden if the content is not available for the selected language. If unchecked, a message will appear showing all the languages the content is available in. The third option of the general settings is the detect browser language. If checked, the browser language will be detected and your visitor will see your blog or website in the language of his browser. Under the general settings, you'll see the advanced settings. Click on the show link to open the advanced settings. Under the advanced settings, the only option I use is the URL modification mode. Here, I always select the second option. I do this for better search results in Google. Under the advanced settings, you'll see the QTranslate services settings. Click on the show link to see the QTranslate services settings. Here you can enable the QTranslate services. With QTranslate services, you will be able to use professional human translation services with a few clicks. I already told you it's possible to change the languages of your blog or website. To do this, go to the language management screen and scroll to the bottom of the screen. Here you'll find the languages screen. At the right of this screen, you can select the languages you need for your blog or website. This is very easy to do. Just enable a language to add the language to the languages of your blog or website. As you can see, I just added the French language. To disable a language, go again to the Languages screen and click on Disable next to the language that you want to disable. As you can see, the Chinese language is disabled now. The second step is enabling the QTranslate widget. This makes it possible for your visitors to choose the language they prefer. To do this, go to Appearance in the left menu and select Widgets. On the widget screen, look for the QTranslate Language Chooser widget. Grab this widget and move it to a sidebar on the right. Here you can fill in a title. You can also choose to hide this title and you can also choose how to display this text only, image only, text and image or a drop down box. Click on save to save these settings. In part 3 of this video we are going to create some content. For example let's create a new page. Click pages and click add new. As you can see, 
You have three titles to fill in here. One for English, one for German and one for French. Or one title for each language you chose. After you filled in the titles, it's time to add some content. As you can see, there are three extra tabs on this editor. One for English, one for German and one for French, or also here for each language you chose. Let's fill in some content. All you have to do now is save or publish this page. In this example we are going to publish this page and check the result. Our new page is already online. You can see the title and the content. At the right you can choose your language. Let's select German. As you can see, we now get the German translation of our page. Now, let's select the French. Also here, you get the French translation of our page. So, let's go to the last part of our video where I will show you how you can change the language of the dashboard. If you install the Qtranslate plugin, also your dashboard is translated. To switch languages, click on the language you want on the left under the menu. Thank you for watching this video. You can find more videos at wordpressninja.com/videos.